Hello everyone. In this video I will try to explain integration between Minio, Kafka and Nucleo. I want to say a little bit about each of them firstly. Uh, as you see in our screen, actually in my screen, the topology which I have already configured and installed all needed stuff for our environment. But about the components, as I said before, Kafka is uh, like as uh, IMPQ uh, giving some topics uh, to our producer and consumer. Actually, in our case, Minio is producer and Nucleo is consumer. Uh, how we can imagine this flow? Uh, Minio, actually, Minio is like as Amazon Web Services S3 bucket. It's open source written in Golang. I've discussed before in previous my article when I have integrated PostgreSQL with WallG. Nucleo is a server serverless software which we can use our applications in any of uh, compiler or uh, interpreter languages. I mean, for example, if you will write some Python code, it will automatically create Docker container. We will see actually it's in our work. And as you see, we have three Kafka nodes, Kafka 1, 2, and 3. And let me explain the stuff. For each of these servers, I have configured its host files, uh, like as in this uh, photo, as you see. And I have deployed Kafka cluster with Ansible. Actually, it's uh, predefined roles which I've got from Ansible Galaxy. Actually, Zookeeper 2, uh, I put all the source code stuff inside of GitHub Reco. I will share all of them with, with all of you. And you can find Minio configuration to actually, it's just system unit service files and Golang binaries, which you can configure for each of your nodes. And the policy file, uh, which you need to configure in your uh, bucket uh, for, you, for user and password, actually it's access secret case. Uh, it will be this repo. Uh, you need to firstly configure Kafka Zookeeper and then Minio, then Nucleo. It's a main readme file for each of them. Zookeeper cluster with Ansible. It's a predefined role, which I said before. Uh, Minio Kafka Nucleo, it's a Minio configuration part. As I said before, you're going to download uh, binary files, configure them. But most important part here, you will find when you start to configure a notification to the Kafka with the following command, as you can see, we are going to check which type of notifications our menu applications support and configure uh, Kafka part to get, uh, actually to send events to our Kafka nodes. We can find our Kafka IP address in this part, as you see and it's uh, showed in our topology, which I said before here. It is Kafka IP addresses. And let me switch to the Nucleo part. Nucleo, it's actually running like a Docker container, but even you can run this inside of your Kubernetes cluster too. First time you will execute docker run command, it's going to expose a 8070 port to, to the host machine. Inside of docker it's actually listening in the same port. But it's as you see it's going mount uh, docker socket file inside of docker containers. After the exe execution of this command it's going to create nuclear dashboard with nuclear storage reader container 2. But when you prepare your serverless functions Actually, you can prepare serverless functions uh, via the uh, via web dashboard and at the same time from command line. I think it's much more easy and comfortable uh, to prepare all this stuff from command line. Actually, it's for me, maybe. Maybe for all of you will be easy to prepare in web too. And First time uh, when I have created this, I went to web, uh, prepared all this stuff in, inside of web page, and you can find buttons there, export as YAML too. 
and after that I have downloaded this YAML file, use it, no, uh, no STL command, uh, you can find this command from this page too. Uh, I'm going to download like a binary file to use inside of uh, binary pass in user bin folder. Uh, as I said before, it's going to execute and start to container files. It's a web dashboard where you can configure all this stuff and configure trigger for the Kafka nodes. But I have used no CTL as I said before. Uh, I will explain all these code files too. I prepared uh, one folder, nuclear serverless functions, and let me show inside of these code files too. It's a lambda function file. After execution of NoCTL command, it's not really automatically going to run one container. It's actually Python based uh, container which will execute Python codes. That's the main part. Let me show you function YAML. The function YAML main main file where NoCTL command will, will see and read all content to prepare this stuff. The most key parts is let me see it is third line 13 handler it's a lambda function file it's a name of the file which will be called inside of the container it's a function name inside of this function file it's handler function will will get two parameters actually context and event name event and the environment where will we run this uh, code file and dependencies which we need to prepare our stuff uh, where we use libraries inside of this file and actual trigger part is important part is brokers as you see consumer group and nuclear events uh, it's a uh, we have configured all this stuff in in the Kafka configuration. Let me copy even this name. We can find the same consumer group name and topic name inside of Kafka configuration. As you see, even topic, if we will search topic, yeah, it's a topic name which we created in our configuration. And that's it. I think it's more most important important parts which I needed to explain to all of us. And let me start and test it how it works. Actually, it's our menu notes. Menu two, three. Same time, Kafka one, Kafka two, three, and it's a nuclear part. Let me use this like this. And As you see, I am going. Let me show firstly all containers. This is all containers which I said before. Uh, nuclear local storage reader, nuclear dashboard, and it's the name of the container which, after execution of the nctl command, deploy pass in the current folder. Inside of current folder, you can find. Uh, function YAML, which I said before, <coughs> lambda function file. Uh, let me explain a little bit inside of function file. Handler function is going to get context and event, and data is going to get uh, body of the event uh, to understand what's going on. We, we catch this one and going to get event name. Actually, event in our case will be triggered like as S3 object created put. And the name of the file we can get from inside of data. 
actually it's a K key which we're going to get from data object and going to get last uh, last part of the data and it actually it's a file name and it's a get menu object we're going to check there or any any of the dependencies we can write and import inside of our code actually as you see it's get menu import it's going to import get menu object separated python file at the same time separated python file to send an email and function sent uh, sent to gmail it's going to send file name and bucket name uh, to the gmail account which i have configured inside of code file send email and we can test it right now we can execute even we can delete our container nucleus and email is three docker container run minus f and we can sit here deploy this one see it's registered um, our all brokers and listening for all of them when we uh, inside of my repository I have created in nuclear folder upload to menu py file actually it's going uh, to send some PDF file to inside of nuclear events bucket I have configured the name of this bucket in the menu part you can find inside of documentation in github repo but uh, even this credential is the same which I have configured there you can find all of them from there mm, the most important part what I want to say let me show menu part this one I've said to the menu to listen inside of bucket to catch if type of the extension PDF will be uploaded or deleted or updated inside of our bucket it's going to send event to our uh, Kafka notes that's why it will work and for now I'm listening Kafka notes if I will execute sorry this code file as you see it's triggered and information came to our log file remote name PDF uploaded already there an email must come to our Gmail account as you see it's going somebody upload with remote PDF file and to the bucket nuclear event C1 we can delete this one and test it again check it again as you see it works and that's it I see I hope it will be useful to all of us